I always like to start my videos off with a weird uh, pose, I guess, or face. Alrighty, I'm trying to screw it up. There we go. I'm drawing, and I'm eating these draft beer jelly beans. Because uh, that's the closest I'm going to get to a beer in the next couple of months. Um, oh, the camera's right there. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah. This is what I'm drawing right now. Doing the flower thing now. Okay, so, sorry, you have to hear me nibbling. Mm. I've had a rough couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I was in the hospital for a respiratory infection and depression and anxiety. Every time you watch those videos, like, I don't know. I don't know how to express things. I'm really bad at talking about shit unless it's like I can talk to the psychiatrist and shit because there's nothing else I can do. I'm just, you know, just gonna say it up front. Like I have thoughts of suicide and I want to injure myself sometimes, but no one tells you it's as scary as as it really is and how stupid it is. Because you have to be on pills and shit. And when I tried not to be on pills, my depression just got worse. So, I got a shit ton of these. Stupid shit. When I wasn't on them, I experienced a lot of things. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> num, num, num. I like beer. Mmm. <laughs> it's as close to beer as I'm gonna get. It tastes so good. Mm. Um. <laughs> I didn't used to like beer. I had to acquire the taste. Um. <laughs> I was dating this. Well, we weren't really dating, but I'm gonna say we were dating. I was dating this girl, and um, I was like, Bleh, I hate beer, but I like fruity drinks and shit. And she was like. Well, beer's cheaper. And I was like, hmm, that makes sense. I was like, no wonder shit tell the people drink it. So I was like, fine, give me a beer. I'll finish it. Kind of finished it. Um, I kind of finished it. I almost finished it. But it tasted really good with, like, five limes. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm a pussy, but I've gotten better. I can drink, like, a whole like a whole thing that's, like, that big at BBW. I can drink the whole thing now. <laughs> I had to, like, train myself to like it. And it's kind of pitiful, but, yeah. I'm just going to sit here and draw and talk, and I honestly don't care how long this is going to be. It's probably going to be a 15-minute video because I can't upload shit unless it's under 15 minutes, which is bullshit. No! I hate when the pen doesn't dry all the way and it smudges. I tried to wait. <laughs> I tried to wait. It's okay, it'll look like shading here. But yeah. So yeah, so I went to the hospital. <coughs> I've seen a lot of shit. Like it was stupid. Like I never thought I would see the stuff I've seen while I was there. Um I saw crazy people, um, people that talk to themselves, um, it was scary, like, I mean, I, I don't know, it wasn't that bad after I got used to it, but it was kind of scary, and a lot of the people were telling me things that the civilian doctors do to them, hold on. I hate that flavor. I mixed green apple and strawberry and it tastes horrible. 
Yeah. I hate green apples. I mean, it was just the only one I had. I had boba tea, but I don't know where I put it. It's hiding somewhere. Okay, so what they do to people that are incarcerated and they're presumed unsafe to be alone, like, because they want to hurt themselves, or they're homicidal, or they're suicidal. Um, they put them in these hospitals, and it's, like, really expensive just to be there, but they always say that their insurance pays for it. I'm like, you're paying the insurance, I mean, good for you, but, um, basically, they treat them like guinea pigs for all these medications and shit, um, it was just really hard to see, like, really sweet old man being hopped up on pills to the point where he couldn't even talk anymore, he was like, like, I couldn't understand what he was saying, I was like, but he was so nice, he was such a sweet old man, and then, um, all the people that used to be in jail, they were really, they were really nice, like, I had this roommate named Tequila, and she was super nice, like, she'd been in jail for stupid shit, I guess, like, marijuana and stuff, it was stupid, I'm like, why did you, and then there was this girl, (coughs) um, she had something going on in her head, um, she constantly was arguing with someone that wasn't there, And she, like, if I made eye contact with her on accident, because, I mean, I look at everybody. I'm, like, looking around the room, like, oh, what's going on? And if I made eye contact with her, she'd be, like, and I'd be, like, what the fuck, you trying to kill me? Like, and she, like, one time I was sitting on the chair on the phone with my boyfriend, and she was, like, staring at me, and I was, like, what the fuck? And then um, I would just ignore her, and she randomly got up and threw her chair and was, like, I'm turning this bitch in, no, 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 and I was like, what the fuck did I do, <laughs> and then the nurses, all the nurses came in at once, and were like, did you touch her, and I was like, no, what the fuck, I've been here for the past 20 minutes, we're on fucking camera, I didn't touch her, I didn't, um, but apparently she imagined it in her head that she was touching me, and she, I was like, what the hell, they were like, just don't talk to her, she, she sees people in her head, and she hears voices, I was like, fuck, where the fuck am I, anyways, I also seen a grown man shit himself, that was, uh, that was definitely an experience, uh, I never thought I would see that, uh, yeah, he was, like, walking in the hallway, shit was coming out of his pants, and rolling on the floor, I was just like, ew, 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 and there was this guy we uh, called Tupac, because he would be like, Tupac, Tupac, football, football, Redskins. It's fucking weird. Basically, they just put me on pills, and then they took me out of the hospital, and now I'm back here. And they're discharging me, so I'm going home, but I don't know when yet. They won't tell me anything. <sighs> but yeah, that's pretty much where I've been this whole week fucking madhouse they were saying how the military people can't be on the amount of drugs that they put their civilians on and I just felt really bad cause some of the people just can't help it they're just you know they just have problems I don't feel like drugs are the answer I mean they put me on these meds but it's not helping my problem like the depression is still there like, pills don't make them go away. They just kind of subside them for a while, which is what I've been doing my whole life. Subsiding depression, just pushing it away, you know, just pretending it's not there. And then you wake up in the morning, and there it is on your chest. And it's really heavy. And it's really hard to wake up in the morning.
if I had my family with me, it would be a lot easier. But I'm over here and they're over there. I keep kind of reminding myself that I'm going home. It's coming soon. <sighs> it's really hard. Stupid hard. People may think that, you know, I'm young and stupid, I don't know anything, you know, I don't know how bad things really are, and that might be true, but that doesn't invalidate how, how people feel, you know, you have to take everyone seriously, because in the next day, someone probably won't be alive anymore. I was at the hospital about to be discharged that day, back to the base, and my, uh, one of my friends, he was in the Marines, he came back to the hospital, he had just left, like, the day before, he had to come back because he tried to kill himself, he tried to take 12 antidepressants, and I don't know how strong they gave him, he, he has higher tolerance than I do, so... 100 milligrams is nothing, but 12 of those, they don't even give me 12, they give me like 5 at a time, because they think I'm going to kill myself, but he tried, and that's really scary, because if he died, I would have been heartbroken, he, he was there the day before, and I know people experience Losing someone, and I'm sorry, it's really hard to talk about. It's just stupid. We shouldn't have to feel this way. But depression is real, and it's really hard. It's really heavy, and it's not fun to talk about. I don't like talking about it with my family, so I use humor. Make it seem like it's not a big deal, but it is. I never really tried to hurt, like, to kill myself, but I did try to hurt myself. And I know it's not going to be fixed in a day. But I'm working on it. I'm going home. I'm going to cut this video short because... 15 minute mark's almost there. Y'all just keep... Just keep pushing yourself. There is always a way out. No matter how long it takes to get home, just keep pushing for home. And if you don't have a home, go make one.